Well, welcome back, everyone. Today we are with Dr. Vahid Tavakoli, and he's a cardiologist at the Lima Memorial Heart and Vascular Institute, ready to talk about cardiac MRI technology. So to begin with, what exactly is a cardiac MRI? Hello, Chris, and it's a wonderful day and wonderful to be here. So MRI is uh, taking pictures of the heart with magnetic waves. That's the highest quality picture that you can get from the heart. You can't treat something you do not see. And uh, you always want the highest quality pictures when you want to treat someone well. Yeah, so what exactly, exactly happens during this procedure? Like, does it require surgery or, or going into the body? It's not invasive. Basically, you lay on a bed, you go through a circle, and uh, you breathe in and out, you listen to some music, and they, then they take pictures of you. You may need an IV line if uh, you need a dye contrast to get better pictures. And this is not the same dye that uh, is given for x-ray or CAT scan. So if you have an allergy to other dyes, you may be fine with this dye. Oh, well, it actually sounds pretty easy. So what kinds of heart conditions can a cardiac MRI detect? So Chris, I want to give you real life examples. A few weeks ago, we had a patient uh, who had multiple blockages in the heart. And the surgeon was going to uh, proceed with a bypass surgery for uh, him. And the surgeon was like, well, this, these blockages are too severe, can you do a heart MRI for me? I want to see the condition. And MRI doesn't just give you uh, the shape of the heart and how it moves and functions. It's also uh, a pathology report when you look at the pictures. And when we looked at the pictures, like that part of the heart that had the blockage, it was all dead. So the damage was done and the patient would not need any surgery anymore. The damage was already done. It's unfortunate, but at least we could uh, not proceed with an unnecessary surgery. Not having an unnecessary surgery is a lot. Yeah. Another example, I had another patient a few weeks back and uh, he was having dizziness, lightheadedness, very young gentleman. He was uh, diagnosed with something called POTS. POTS is a, a benign problem. People get dizzy, like that, and all their tests are normal. And uh, his cardiologist was like, oh, this is too severe. Uh, is this just POTS? And he sent the patient for heart MRI, and we could not believe it. We, everybody in the team looked at, looked at pictures. Uh, it was a rare genetic syndrome, and we immediately sent the patient to Cleveland Clinic to a doctor there who only does that syndrome, rare genetic syndrome. Wow. And another real life example, we had another patient who came to us with a tumor in the heart, thinking whether he needs to take it out or not, whether to take a biopsy of it or not. And just non-invasive pictures of the heart showed that it's a pathology report, that tumor is benign, nothing else is needed. I'll give you another uh, example from about a month ago. A patient was going to have heart surgery, but nobody would do the surgery because there was suspicion for a clot in the heart. And having a clot in the heart makes heart surgery a lot more difficult. The patient was at a lot higher risk. We did the heart MRI, no clot in the heart. That suspicion was no more there. And they just proceeded with surgery. Surgery was successful. Everything ended well. Wow, that's amazing. And so you guys do such great things over there. So, doctor, now if people have concerns about their cardiac health, and how can they be seen as soon as possible and receive a cardiac MRI if they, possibly they need one? So, usually heart MRI is not the first test that we do for your heart. Uh, you may need some other tests. Talk to your cardiologist uh, and uh, see what's the best next step for you. If you do echo stress test and uh, you feel like something is going wrong, maybe heart MRI is the best next step for you. Yeah, so doctor, I wanna thank you so much for coming out and, and, and you know sharing your knowledge with all of our viewers. I appreciate it. Thank you, Chris. All right, well, don't go away because we have more than we return.